What if someone told you that everything you wanted in life would be achievable tomorrow? History proves that all men seek out power, the chance to see their goals achieved right before their eyes. But very few men have achieved such power and held on to it for very long. Even fewer have been satisfied with that power once achieved. I suppose the question we must ask ourselves is not what will you do tomorrow to achieve everything we ever wanted, but rather what will we do to achieve everything today? Are you willing to do what needs to be done? Then let's get started. First rule, if you are working for me, do not under any circumstance Use your real name. Now, here are your names. Snitch. Leonardo. Data. The Mechanic. Second, do not talk to one another unless you must. Do not talk about your family or anything else that can compromise your identity or mine. If anyone violates my rules and puts my identity in jeopardy, you'll be terminated. No questions asked. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, let's go over the plan. Data, you're up. I was able to bypass the gallery's security and get a live feed of the cameras. Like, that's hard. Now, most of the entrances are covered, but I was able to find a blind spot between the northwest entrance and the service hallway. Each night, a different guard patrols the gallery. They all have military backgrounds, experience, whatever. It's not like I can't take them. Leonardo, what do you have for me? Well, Doc, I've taken great pains to make an exact replica of the sculpture. Under the cover of darkness, me and Snitch will sneak into the compound under the directions of Data and make the switch. Data found a blind spot on the outside of the building. We parked there. And with her directions, we make our entrance. If we have any problems with security, I just tune the car to outrun any law enforcement automobile. Baby's supercharged. Isn't that illegal? And this isn't? Stay with the plan. Leonardo and Snitch will meet up with me in the lobby for the escape. Bravo. Let's get to it. <laughs>
the guard just turned. You're clear. Stop at this next corner until I get you going. Go. On your left will be the gallery. Move quickly and quietly. Mechanic. What? I just picked up another security guard headed your way. What? You guys need to be fast. What do you mean there's another? Hey. What are you doing in here? Ah, uh, I'm here to relieve you. I don't think so. There's another car. We have to leave now. Snitch, what are we gonna do? I have an idea, give it to me. Why? Just give it to me. <clears throat> Nothing personal. Package delivered. Meet at the rendezvous point. Hey, are you okay? Did you get it? What? Do you have the sculpture? Yeah. Here. How'd you know they'd take it? Let's just say I was young and stupid once. Now, let me see that sculpture. So that's how it's gonna be. We do all the hard work, and you get the prize? Just let it go, Lee. No, Data. What's stopping us right now from going straight to the police? Let's just say neither of you would like to spend a lot of jail time with your professor. Now, let's have that sculpture. Just give it to him, Leo. Wait. I said I was young and stupid once. What? The real sculpture, please? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've been a professor for many years, and I have very good intuition, especially about my most talented students, especially the ones who would try to play me for a fool. The real sculpture. Nothing personal. You made two replicas? Well, I hope you're proud of this one because now we're stuck with it. He took the fake. How did you know that he would? I was young and stupid once. Thank <laughs> you.